First of all, it's always very important to try and determine the inheritance pattern simply by taking a family history. So identifying other family members who are affected, identifying relationships between the family members is absolutely essential. Um, that doesn't require any genetic testing at all. That's just important to identify what kind of disease is going on. And, and that alone can be very important in terms of counseling patients about the risk that they will give to their offspring, to their children, um, as well as risk to other brothers and sisters, other family members who may not know that they might be at risk for retinal degeneration. I think a genetic counselor is extremely helpful in talking about the risks um, uh, to both the patient as well as their future children or their present children um, and their other family members. Um, they can help talk about uh, the risks associated with genetic testing, which sometimes include things like learning different connections between families that you may not have known about that can sometimes be upsetting to people, um, as well as potentially having uh, knowledge that you carry a mutation for a gene which is not affecting you significantly at the moment. So that can have implications for other kinds of things, employment and insurance. And so it's important to think about those types of things before one goes genetically testing for every possible condition. It's also extremely, extremely important to have a pretty good idea of the clinical diagnosis before you choose where to send the blood and which genes to test for. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as most regular tests people think about where you send the blood to a lab and they give you a result. There are oh, you know, hundreds of different genes with hundreds of different mutations that can cause retinal degeneration. And because of the sheer magnitude of the, the number of different changes that can cause retinal degeneration, if you were to send blood and just test for everything, there would be a fair chance that you would find a mutation that was actually not associated with retinal degeneration in that patient. So the connection between the clinician providing a correct phenotypic description, a correct clinical characterization of what's going on in that patient, and the genetic testing is absolutely critical. Um, otherwise, genetic testing is, is likely to be misinterpreted or not at all helpful. Um, so I think uh, the times when patients wish to have genetic testing, it would be extremely important for them to connect with a clinician who is well-versed in taking care of patients with inherited retinal generations so that they can provide the most accurate clinical phenotype, clinical description to the people doing the genetic testing and then put that information together to provide the most meaningful information.